This is one of the best uh, looking examples of an X7 that you'll ever, ever find. Uh, I've had to film it because it's absolutely amazing. Now the bike here was launched uh, to the press back in 1978 was when it came out. Now this is amazing because it's still in one piece after over 40 years. Now this one's been totally refurbished by a Suzuki uh, collector in the UK. It's worth noting that Suzuki have probably got over a thousand parts still available for the X7. So if you've got an X7 and you want to refurbish it, now is the time. They've got things like cables, exhausts and parts of the engine. You can still get it from the Suzuki uh, main dealer. Now it's worth noting that the X7 wasn't the most powerful 250 in its class in 1978-79. But it was certainly the lightest uh, and it weighed at 310, 312 pounds. Uh, that was the weight of the bike with fuel and oil. And that paid dividends in its performance, being a two stroke. Now, the dry weight of the Suzuki X7 was about 300 pounds. Now, in the late 70s and early 80s, four stroke engine technology was beginning to take over, but Suzuki being the famous brand they were, had the policy that they wanted to keep the two strokes going up to 250cc and they reckoned it was much better with the power and the weight to weight ratio and, and cheaper than building a four stroke uh, motorbike. Suzuki said four strokes were better after 400cc which I totally agree but the, the 250s and 125s they had to be a two stroke. Now the X7 was 24 kilograms which is about 52 pounds less weight than an air-cooled Yamaha RD250 and it was a, a, a staggering 50 kilograms lighter than the Honda CB250 Super Dream which I think everyone remembers amazing bike brilliant two-stroke uh, my mate had one I had the 250LC then I went up to a 350LC and he still had his X7 and I'll tell you what, we had a lot of fun on them. Uh, bring back the two strokes, brilliant, brilliant machine.